Now, one of the highlights um, of this year's conference is the um, tremendous support that we've had in terms of the attendees. You know, there have been over 550 people have come this, to this year's event representing 60 different countries. And I can remember back to the very first uh, conferences that we had, and, and this, would, this would have been a dream in those days. So the, it, it's representative of how important people see this event now over the years. And this is our seventh conference, and it has grown each time um, into exactly what it is, which is the number one enforcement IP conference. The challenges in traffic illicit goods and counterfeiting crimes remain constant. Um, over the, the years, um, technology has allowed counterfeiting to reach quite incredible levels. I can remember um, in the early days, you talked about counterfeiting, people related that to uh, luxury goods, related that to um, maybe handbags, sunglasses, this sort of thing. But now, you know, one thing that I notice is that um, there is no product that is safe from counterfeiting. There is no country, there is no region, there's no part of the world that is not affected by the impacts of counterfeiting. The Traffic Illicit Goods uh, and Counterfeiting program uh, in the future um, is going to expand into to new regions. Um, the way we work, traditionally the way we work, is to bring together um, law enforcement agencies from different parts of the world, from different regions. Um, we engage them with some training, we engage in capacity building, raising awareness, we work with our private sector partners, and we bring that um, into operations. And there have been some great examples this year already. We've had Operation Hurricane in Asia, we've had Operation Pacific, we've had Operation Itosha uh, in Africa, Operation uh, Black Poseidon, uh, White Mercury. There are many, there are many. Um, and in the future, um, I hope to be able to develop this type of uh, raising awareness and capacity building uh, in the Middle East region. Um, I hope to, to be able to do this more in uh, the Far East, hope to be able to do this more in Russia. Um, whilst not ignoring um, those areas where we're already making an impact, we have to continue, we have to keep sustained pressure and we will continue to do that in the future.